everyone. Welcome back to RTS and welcome back to Paper Pad Party. Yes, just look at this beautiful paper pad. Yes, it's beautiful. Okay, Christmas and paper pad. Yes, sign me up. Sing hallelujah. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so what are we going to do at this paper pad party? We are absolutely going to kick off a little mini series here for the month of December at RTS. And I wanted to post this sooner rather than later if you're interested in joining in and seeing what we're going to do. And perhaps you may want to do it yourself. And so what are we going to do? We are absolutely going to record December. And what does that mean? Well, what that means is we're going to do abbreviated version, a watered down version, and a small version of what people call December daily. <laughs> yes, that's what we're going to do. And so, of course, I don't do albums, like little mini albums, themed al albums. I don't do that anymore. So this record December is going to be layout style. And so we're going to rely on our paper pad and make some 12 by 12 layouts to record December. Now, how is that going to work? <laughs> Are we going to do a layout for each day no we're going to do a four page spread and so that four page spread will cover the entire month of December and we'll talk about that in just a minute when we talk about photos so if you are interested in this paper pad version of the record December that's what we're going to do we're going to pick out a paper pad and a couple other things and that's all you have to do but I wanted to post this sooner than later because on December 1 I'm going to absolutely do the video about how I'm going to do the layouts and if you want to follow along with that more than welcome it's going to be very simple <laughs> there's not much involved it's just simply about recording December and also I'm going to be honest it's also to help me get into the mood <laughs> of the holiday season because it's a lot of work and I drag my feet and I'll be honest I grumble because it's a lot of work and so I have to get in the mood have to get my mind and I gotta get going with this Christmas stuff yes okay now what I wanted to do is today I just wanted to show you the few things that I'm pulling together for this and with this our four page layout okay I want to say a couple things first of all um, and I'll just uh, show you a couple pieces of paper <laughs> as I'm doing this because I'm just talking okay so now with this recording December I know some people are saying well I don't do 12 by 12 layouts I do eight and a half eleven. 11 no worries you'll be able to do this too I'll talk about that in just a minute the other thing is some people will say well you know I don't really have any small kids I don't do a lot of Christmas activities I don't go a lot of places neither do I because my Christmas is a very low key in our household. But this is not about just Christmas activities and Christmas decorations and Christmas food, even though that's all part of December. What we're going to do is we're going to record December as what we're doing. Okay, you say, well, all I do is go to work every day. That's okay. We're going to have some ideas about that too. Okay, so what we're going to do is simply record December, whatever that is for you. If it's completely Christmas and holiday and prep, that's good. Or if it's just the Monday of going to work five days a week and relaxing on the weekend that's what it's about okay and so when you're picking out a paper pad I want you to think think what do you want to record okay if you're gonna do something that's totally Christmas uh, that's what most of us do then pick out a Christmas pad but if you absolutely want to record December for you and you want to use a pastel collection that's what you do. It does not have to be all Christmas, okay? So I wanted to stress that, okay? Because not everybody makes Christmas a big hoopla. Not everybody has kids, and so they think, oh, I can't do anything about December daily. Yes, you can. It's about recording the story. We're just going to record December, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little snapshot of our lives for the month, okay? That's what we're going to do. So regardless of the size of the scrapbooker you are, you can do this because if we're going to do a four page layout and so if you're an eight and a half by 11, a scrapbooker, I want you to think you're going to do a six page layout and you're saying six page, uh, but it's very simple. So no worries. You know, I always have something up my sleeve. Okay. So what are you going to do? Well, first of all, you're going to pick out a paper pad because we are in the paper pad party. Pick out a paper pad because we're going to use this for the majority of our, uh, you know, our project and so you can also if you want to I think what I'm going to do my collection is more cream based I'm probably going to pick out four pieces of ivory cardstock as basis that's why I have it okay but you don't have to you can use something that you have in your paper pad okay and so then what else are you going to do well you're simply going to pick out one punch or one die or one embossing folder or you can pick one of each and that is what I did I picked out this uh, I call it a blue spruce <laughs> this little twig or a uh, sprig is what they call it uh, I'm gonna use that for my punch my embossing for is this holly leaves and berries and you know floral I had to get a Christmas floral in there 
okay, my embossing folder, and then I locked that with my dye, because my dye set that I have is, I have deer and a wreath, and I have some floral spray, and a Christmas tree, so I locked that. So pick out a dye set, an embossing folder, or a punch, or one of each. It's absolutely, okay? And even if you don't use it, no worries, you have it. It's all here, ready to go. And then the other, other thing you would need is, of course, an alpha, okay? And so I suggest picking, and I had these here, uh, pick one um, thicker that is bigger and one is smaller in case you want to do subtitles, okay? So you're saying, well, <clears throat> what will I do? How will I know to pick out from what thicker? What, what do I pick? Well, take a cue from your mood and feel from your paper pad. You can see what my color scheme is here. And then also, too, I have red glitter. And then the metal I have, if I can find this. See, there's the glitter, glitter, okay? If I can find the metallic, my metallic is silver, Okay, but if it was gold, I would have picked gold. So pay attention, especially with Christmas pads, pay attention to your metallic because that's when a lot of bling and zing comes out for the holidays. And so for a thicker set, you could absolutely pick something that is theme, you know, this candy cane stripe, or I could again pick in the silver, or you can always pick black that goes with anything or white. And what I decided to go with is I'm going to do, I am breaking out the glitter. Yes, I'm doing a red glitter. That's what I'm going to do. And then here is going to be my small alpha in case I want to do a subtitle. Now, when you're picking out your thicker or your bigger alpha, make sure you have a date because you know we're going to get 2018 in there somewhere if you can. Okay. And then what else would you do for embellishments? Well, we're, what we're going to do in this paper pad party is we're going to rely on our paper pad for some of our embellishments, not all, but for some. So the cut aparts, these border strips, that's what we're going to use. Uh, we're absolutely gonna play with this paper pad to do our recording December. That's what we're gonna do. So one other thing you can do is if you just bought some Christmas embellishments, you're eager to use them, definitely pull them out, okay? Or if you have uh, just some supplies sitting around and you just wanna play with them, just put them together. Now what I did was since I'm, I have the uh, presence of metallic, you know, silver metallic, I just pulled out my silver slash gray uh, color bins and I will have that video link below what this is all about and so that's this is all I have then that's all I'm going to play with for this uh, four pages and something else that we're going to do okay so that's what we're going to do and so when it comes to picking out embellishments just pick a few things don't make it this a huge kit just pick out a few things okay so that's what we're going to do okay now I think I talked about everything. You pick a paper pad, a couple tools, a couple alphas, a couple embellishments. That's bing, bang, boom. That's it. Do not, do not make it hard. Make it fun. Do not make it hard. Okay? But take a cue from your paper pad as to glitter, no glitter, what metallics you're using, and the mood and feel. You can see mine's going to be a country Christmas because these buffalo checks, yes, they're going to be making it on my page, I'm sure. Okay. So what are we going to do for photos? Well, here's what you can simply do. You can simply uh, take the approach that you are going to take a photo of day and it's going to be whatever reminds you of that day, okay? It could be Christmas related or not Christmas related, holiday prep related or not. It can be about your kids, your grandfather, yourself, whatever. It, it makes no difference, okay? And then also too, if you think, well, I don't have enough of my day, there you do something every day, <laughs> You do something every day, even what you watch on TV, what books you're reading, what uh, projects you're working on, if you're crocheting or if you're if you're scrapbooking, there's all kinds of things, okay? And then also, too, you can always take pictures around your home because things change year to year, okay? And then also, too, if you, the weather, you can take pictures of that, uh, uh, where you work, things like that. Okay, so you can absolutely set your phone or set an alarm and then each time, each day during that certain time, it makes you stop and think, I need to take a photo today. That's all you simply have to do. Or most of us snap photos every day anyways, okay? But if you need to make a mental note, set that alarm on your phone or put a post-it note on your purse or a handbag, whatever, kitchen counter, refrigerator, have your kids remind you. They'll remind you. Take a photo, okay? And then what you're going to do is we're going to work on it every seven, eight days, and that's what we're going to do, okay? So if you need that reminder, set that alarm. But I think I'm rambling. <laughs> My mind just stopped. Sorry. 
But photos, yes, you're going to just snap. All you need is one photo. But we more than likely, as scrapbookers, we take more than one photo a day anyways, okay? And even if you forget, no worries. You can back the truck up. Even if you forget seven days in a row, I can help you figure out what you need to take pictures of, okay? Because I record a lot of stories, okay? And so even if you take pictures of your home decor, even if it's not Christmas because things change over the years, okay? Or what you just had for lunch that day, okay? That type of thing. Or a new outfit you just bought, <laughs> that type of thing. A new pair of boots, a new scarf. You see what I'm saying? There's so many things to take a picture of. It does not all have to be Christmas and uh, mistletoe. It does not. Okay, so I think that's all I wanted to say. If you want to play along, just pull these few supplies. Nothing hot and heavy, just fun things. And then um, on December 1, I'm going to start. What we're going to do is we're going to make our four pages all at one time. Honestly, it's going to be so simple. It's going to probably take less than 20 minutes because we're going to use the paper pad, okay? And that'll be the first uh, video. And then after that, we'll be adding photos and we'll be embellishing and just having fun along the way. Okay, so that's all I have for today and our paper pad party and recording December. That's what we're going to do. It's just a little mini fun series, a little fun series in between our go-to design series. Yes, why not? <laughs> I'm going to keep you busy this month. Yes. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. And I need to get into holiday spirit. And I'm hoping this helps me. I do. I hope it does. If you have any tips on how you get yourself in holiday mood, please share with me. I got to get with the program here. I'm still back in summer mode, folks. That's where I'm at. Okay. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, please list below. And I wanted to get this up sooner than later. If you're interested, December 1, then you wouldn't feel like you're behind the eight ball. You got a couple days to think about it. Look through your paper pads. Maybe the inspirational hit. And honestly, it's not a big project. It's just going to be four layouts, four quick layouts recording December. That's all it is. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to learn or do. Okay, come back. Bye.